हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस चैप्टर फाइव पॉलिनेशन एंड फर्टिलाइजेशन एज वी ऑल नो दैट एंथर आर द मेल ऑर्गेन्स एंड पिस्टिल्स आर द फीमेल ऑर्गेन्स ऑफ ए फ्लावरिंग प्लांट एंथर प्रोड्यूस एज पॉलन ग्रेन एंड पिस्टिल कंटेंस स्टिगमा एट द टॉप फॉर इनिशिएटिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन दैट इज the process of formation of fruits and seeds the first step is that the pollen grain must reach the stigma this transfer of pollen grains from anther to the stigma is called pollination so what is pollination pollination is the process of transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma there are two kinds of pollination self pollination and cross pollination self pollination again divided into two types autogamy and gitanogamy autogamy is the transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma of the same plant and gitanogamy is the process of transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma of the another flower of same plant here in this picture you can see autogamy and uh, this is one is uh, gitanogamy in autogamy no agents required as anther and stigma present on the same flower but in gitanogamy agents are required as anther and stigmas are present on different flowers here we can discuss one special condition that is cristogamy 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 is a type of automatic self pollination it occurs in closed flower the anther and the stigma lies close to each other and does not required any agent now we will talk about the adaptations for the self pollination or requirements for the self pollination or we can say the condition that favors the self pollination first condition that favors the self pollination is bisexuality bisexuality means both male and female organs present on the same flower self pollination can occur in bisexual plant that is flower bisexual flower that is in flower having both male and female organs or it can also occurs in such unicellular flowers where both male and female flowers are born on the same plant the second condition that favors the self pollination is homogamy in homogamy both anther and stigma of a flower matured at the same time so two condition uh, which is necessary for the self pollinations are bisexuality and homogamy bisexuality means the flower must contain both the sexes male and female and in homogamy stigma and anther must matured at the same time now here you can see there are some advantages and disadvantages of self pollination self pollination is the surer method of the reproduction it is much surer in such bisexual flowers where stamen and carpel matured at the 
सेम फ्लावर इन सेल्फ पॉलिनेशन पेरेंटल कैरेक्टर्स आर प्रिजर्वड ये थर्ड एडवांटेज इज देर इज नो लॉस ऑफ पॉलन ग्रेन्स इवन अ स्मॉल क्वांटिटी ऑफ पॉलन विल सफिशियंट फॉर द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन here in cell pollination the flowers does not need to be large and sweet scents and nectars need not to be produced by flowers because here pollen grains transfer to stigma on the same flower all these above advantages makes the flower of great economy because it can preserve it can save lots of nutrient materials which would otherwise be used in the production of pollen nectar scent and large petals etc here nectar means juice of flower now we'll talk about disadvantages of self pollination this a continuously growing fl this flowers and fruits generation after generation leads to weakening of the variety or the species the seeds produced through it are poor in quality and give rise a less vigorous of spring the second disadvantage is that the weaker or defective characters of the variety or breed cannot be eliminated the third disadvantage of self pollination is that it does not yield a new variety the genetic traits of the same plant with no change and without any intermixings are passed on to the next generation that is why we will not get a new variety thus there is a little chance for the improvement in the next generation in our next video we'll discuss cross pollination cross pollination thank you for watching this video